I see him. If you can't hear what he said, he said, my sensors indicate an intruder is present. So, your intruders, get out. Robots! Uh, why are we here? We are here to uh, marry nobody. Yeah, it's a tag video, that's right. I got tagged by Ultra Maximus. You don't know who he is? Well, what the fuck's wrong with you? Go fix that. Go clickety click down in the description. Uh, you like Transformers? I don't. He does. You guys will be best friends. It'll be awesome. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's before hell and brimstone of Transformer fandom falls on me. I'm just being honest, guys. I just never got into it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So simmer. Okay? Just don't hurt me. Cause you lose. Uh, anyway, he tagged me in his response to uh, Longboy's post, who was responding to Proby Man 5. This is Proby Man 5's tag, technically. So all those motherfucking links will be below. Show him some love, because this is his baby that we are all carrying across the border. That's a weird, weird thing to do with a baby. And he's got a beautiful little baby, too. <laughs> I know it's even weirder. I'm sorry, Brad. I'd make up for it by tilting the camera, since I know you hate these angles so much, but, uh... <laughs> silly wabbit. Um, yeah, so anyway, Ultra Maximus, go subscribe him. Longboy's post, but I'm pretty sure you're all subscribed. If you're not, go fix that. Probably Man 5, subscribe to that shit. Now let's get on to business, shall we? Shall we? STOP DRINKING! My dogs have a serious drinking problem. And so do I. <laughs> but I can at least keep it off camera. All right, first question, what state do you live in? I live in the state that has brought you beer and cheese and cannibal serial killers. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I live in Wisconsin. You wanna know where that is? Get a map and read. And maps are great. They tell you the secrets of geography. It's wonderful. Um, and don't trust that Google shit. Mm -mm, nah, don't trust a robot. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, can you not make noise throughout the entirety of this just because I'm sitting literally where your bed goes? <laughs> like you have rights. If you paid rent, we'd be fine. Damn freeloading dogs, I swear to God. Alright, so uh, second question. How did you get into collecting? Technically, this could easily become an argument of uh, nature versus nurture because I grew up with a collector. Uh, my mother is responsible for what I am, so <laughs> write your letters of complaint, too. Uh, but no, my childhood was VHS's, as far as the eye could see, stacks of comics taller than little old me. Uh, she's the one who was buying me my action figures, so, you know, she's responsible. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but at the same time, okay, fine, I grew up around and under the influence of a collector. So logic would dictate that I would become a collector later in life, which I am, just not, not to the same extreme. My mother is the person who, if she's interested in something, she wants to know everything she can about it. Not to a hoarder level, like it ain't dangerous, don't worry. Don't but, nobody needs to call A&E, okay? Just shh. But, um, and I don't have that as much. I've gotten to a point of life where if it serves no fucking purpose, even if I'm interested in it, I don't want it. That said, I, it is a physical compulsion with DVDs. I will never be happy with Netflix. With TV shows, sure. If I'm curious about something but I don't want to buy it, okay, that's perfect. But I need to own the DVD. I need need that validation of this is mine. I don't I don't know if that's it or not, but and I feel I genuinely feel like less of a person if I don't find things that I need to have. And and the specific ones seem to be of course my horror genres. And uh, I, I say genres because it's not just blanket horror. I don't like torture porn, you know. Just... I have specific needs. Um, and French films. <laughs> and classics. So I feel like I need to do these. And when did that happen? Well, probably in my late 20s. Late 20s. You're in your late 20s, stupid. Early 20s. <laughs> late teens, early 20s. There we go. I can't brain today, you have the dumb. That's every day. Um, but yeah, no, so I guess you could make the argument of it was kind of already coming <laughs> that, I, that I was going to, 
be a collector, but when I started building my own collection, not counting my action figures, because as I've discussed on this channel before, you know, they, they came with me from childhood. But at the same time, I don't actively go out and buy other action figures to fulfill the collection. Because I don't need to, because uh, X-Men creators fucking gave me everybody that I would ever want, so that's done and done. That's not true. There are a lot of action figures I want, but I I don't go and buy them because I don't have a place to display them right now, and, and I would rather spend the money on DVDs, so I guess that means we'll focus in on the, the conscious collection of DVDs. And the conscious collection probably started when I ha was old enough to have a disposable income where I had the decision to spend that money on whatever I fucking wanted to. I will tell you that the very first DVD that I ever bought when we finally converted the VHS to DVD was Army of Darkness. Hell yeah. Followed immediately after by Beverly Hills Ninja. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I guess you could make the argument of how did I get into collecting? I was born into it, but I embraced it after feeling a void, I guess. I don't know. I don't know that it was ever even a conscious decision. I think it was simply, I got old enough, I want this. I will buy this. Hooray, I bought it. Now my life is better. But I don't know. Nature versus nurture, environment versus genetics. Go ahead and argue. We're moving on. What does your significant other think of your gaming hobby? Renji, what do you think? That's right. I don't have one. I don't have a gaming hobby. Uh, actually, we could argue that too. I go on record saying that I am not a gamer. I don't claim to be a gamer. I'm never going to pretend to be a gamer. I'm never going to be a gamer, technically. Technically. A little asterisk here. Footnote. I don't play games, and, and I've explained why before, but just for shits and giggles, <laughs> since we're here, I don't do it because I am I, that stereotype that you all fight so hard to not be. If I, there's a reason I don't have a console. I'm perfectly capable of buying one. I'm perfectly capable of buying all of them. Well, within reason. Not that I'd want them. But I, I, if I wanted one, I'd have one. If I wanted to start collecting games, I absolutely could. And I have you magnificent people to be my guides. But I don't. Because when I get into games, it just becomes an all-encompassing thing. And that veil between reality <laughs> and fiction kind of, I, it gets a little thicker and I can't see anymore. It's, I become all encompassed. And though I still will go to work, I will still pay my bills, I'm not thinking about anything else, I'm just thinking about the game. Or the characters, or the whatever. Whatever happens to be tripping my trigger on that specific thing. So, I don't play games. I have, in the past, and I, as I'm getting ready to explain the footnote, and I have nothing but appreciation and fascination for the genre. Which is why I watch playthroughs. Ah, here we go. Most of what I watch when I'm not watching you guys, and I'm watching you guys because I care about you as well as your content, but when I'm watching just channels that I have no emotional connection to whatsoever, they're gameplay videos. <laughs> Usually, with the exception of Welcome to the Basement and, uh, Crafts with Joe, which isn't gaming, but it's just wonderful. So if you haven't subscribed, go fucking do it. Because she's wonderful. And like Red Hog DK. No games on that channel. Just shenanigans. How many more shoutouts can I throw in there? Um, but yeah, I I love games. I need to watch them. And they're usually games that I will never play. So I need to see them to their entirety. So I guess technically I do have a gaming hobby, I just have a, a voyeuristic gaming hobby. Solidly. Definitively. I guess it's my hobby to watch. You can take what you want from that. I don't know. It was my choice to say it. I, that's an accepted risk on my part. <clears throat> but yeah. So, 
I don't know what he thinks of that, but uh, I don't care. Anyway, uh, favorite game ever. Uh, we've talked about this before on this channel as well, but for the people who are new here, hi! My absolute favorite game in the world is The Neverhood, followed immediately after, like, hairline finish Half-Life. I have never played Half-Life 2, so I don't know, I can't rate it, and I'm hoping that when Armacrog finally fucking happens, that it'll be on that list too. And I'm fairly certain I discovered, uh, through watching playthroughs, watching Pushing Up Roses specifically, the game Grim Fandango, which I really wish I would have known about when I was a kid, because I would have been all up in that shit. Holy fuck. But, uh, yeah, so. And I really love Dungeon Keeper 2. P.S. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, it was just fun. So, yeah, favorite game, Neverhood and Half Life. Almost tied! Kind of! Just barely. The Neverhood just barely beats Half Life over there. Because that was the first game I ever completed, too. Took, I'm not telling you how long it took me either. <laughs> and finally, finally, we've reached the end of the rainbow. The first person or channel you subscribe to was either, because I genuinely don't remember who came first, Blame Society Films or Knox Corner 1, which is now just Robert Benfer. And Knox Corner 1 I subscribed to for Robert had a series that made him famous and it was the Clay World series, which I fell in love with and if you don't know what I'm talking about, check it out, Google that shit. It, I found it hilarious. <laughs> but I'm a freak for claymation. Um, and Blame Society Films, if you don't know them, <laughs> apparently if you don't know them that makes Janet very upset because she gave up on you. She gave up on you. Fix your life. Get your shit sorted, okay? Uh, Blame Society Films gave you Chad Vader. And since Chad Vader, they have given us all sorts of wonderful things like beer and board games and my personal favorite, Welcome to the Basement, and their sister channel, Game Society Pimps. How much more can I give you for you to go click and look at things? These, these things are wonderful. They make my life better. They'll make your life better. Maybe. Like, I'm not gonna say definitively, just in case you try to sue me. I ain't got a lawyer. I represent myself in court. Objection, motherfucker! This guy's an ass! Overruled. <laughs> it's been a long time since I watched Law & Order, so I don't... I don't know things. Watch a bunch of Perry Mason, that'll get me through. Uh, anyway, so here's the part where I'm supposed to tag people, right? Fuck you. I'm not tagging people. I'm tagging... Okay, I'm definitively... I'm tagging no one and everyone at the same time. Because I don't know who else done this yet. I, sim I don't. I don't make a list, guys. Fine, I'm not prepared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But so if you've watched this, you're tagged. So go do it. <laughs> or don't. I. I care. I do care. I. I always tell you I don't care. I care. I just won't think less of you if you don't do it. Yes, I will. That's a lie. <gasps> Alright, I think Janet's getting tired. So, yeah. Go click all the things in the description. Go listen to all the things I said. Move on with your life. Move to Nebraska. Don't move to Nebraska. It's no good. Move to Oregon. I don't know. Is it good? I don't know. I don't know! But, before you do any of that, make sure you check out Proby Man 5, Long Boys Post 1975, and the dude who tagged me in his infinite niceness, Ultra Maximus, for some Transformers shenanigans and all sorts of other awesome nerd shit. Yeah, so, have a good rest of your day, guys. Or night. Both. Ooh, the furnace is on. <laughs> My butt is on fire! It's hot. <laughs> and not at all in the good way. I think we can all agree on that one. Mm.